Nobody here has ever had a bad result. Nobody has had a, a client react to a side effect. Your arrogance here is breathtaking. You take no responsibility. For her body's reaction to a medicine. It only just came on the market. She has come up in a number of my sessions as well. It's become a part of the environment here. I have clients who were afraid to take their medications. We have the state board here. It's on the nightly news. Look, I spoke with her lawyer and the DA. We worked it out. She's taking an NGRI. She's going to hospital for observation. It's behind us. It's all going to go away. Bullsh**, John. It is splashed all over you. It's going to follow you around forever. What about when you each watch this movie uh, alone? I don't know who you see it with when you're looking at it for the first time. And you look at yourselves on screen. Are you critical of yourself when you watch you? Or can you sit back and say, pretty good? I'm immensely critical. I find, it, I find it really hard. I mean, I can, I've learned to sort of watch and see the film as a whole mm -hmm. and, and get a feeling as to whether I really think it's worked. Um, but I'm usually almost doing that going like that to myself. Really? Just a, a little blocking. bit, just sort of subconsciously. But then I can see it again and sometimes, but it usually takes someone else to say, oh, no, no, that bit's good. You're good in that bit. And I'm like, what have I done? Or if you watch it like a few years later. That's often And you feel easy. like a, a different person. So yes, there's that's separation. true. A bit of separation. But otherwise, it's like, it's like hearing your voice on the answering machine, you know? Mm -hmm. It's quite awful. At least I think it's quite awful. I'm super critical. I don't even really, yeah, I'm really critical. I prefer it with, um, if I'm playing, it's easier if you're playing quite a, um, uh, uh, if you're playing a character that, Required some kind of transformation with or an it was accent just, or something or accent or way. I mean, because to me those Is layers. Is it easier? Yeah, I so find that easier. those layers really? separate you from the part, and you can, and yet strangely you can reveal more of yourself. Because if you're kind of wearing, you know, a, I don't know what a, a, a wig and a false nose or whatever, and I'm doing a strange, but you fit, you can reveal a lot more. Yeah. Which makes it easier in a strange way. It's harder sometimes being. You like Banks was quite it, yeah. tricky and has been hard to watch because it's my voice, it's sort of, it's modern day. Mm -hmm. There are not a huge amount of things that obviously separate him from me. Well then let me ask this about the movie, about side effects, without you each talking about you. I'll start with you, Judah, and just say, when you look at side effects and you're looking at Rooney, mm. is there a moment in this, well, there's probably many moments, but is there a moment in this that resonates with you? personally watching her? Um, yeah, yeah, many. But I mean, the film, the film affects on that level mm -hmm. throughout to me because it's, it deals with um, sadness, as I said before. Mm -hmm. That we have to in wipe this, out. In this re yeah, that we have to wipe out. In this situation, it deals with uh, acute sadness, so clinically depression. And it also deals with um, the complexity of, of, of how we kind of mask truths. And um, I, th I mean, I, I found it, I found it uh, incredible working ac across from you because I didn't, I, I couldn't, I found it hard to read her, <laughs> um, which I've realized is, is clearer when you watch it as an audience member, but sometimes as an actor, it kept me really uh, on my toes. And that's, a, that's an exciting feeling. Mm -hmm. I think if you, if you settle in, you sometimes feel like you're kind of, the energy's dead. And I, I didn't ever feel that with Rooney. And I felt the same when I was watching it. I, it kind of kept me intrigued. So see, you're bringing us to you. We have to try to figure <laughs> you out. That's what that is. What about Jude? What about well, you looking at him? Well, I haven't seen the film yet. You, you just so can't get an invite? You so really only... just can't, really. <laughs> I so think popular. somebody should it's arrange hard. that. Right? <laughs> Everybody is just lined up and you can't go yet. Is that a purposeful thing that you, you're trying not to or that you're just doing 11 movies at the same time? I, you know, I don't <laughs> like to see things unfinished because it's so hard to watch yourself to begin with and I, I, don't, um, I don't know, I just haven't seen it yet. I'll probably see it in the theater when it opens. I don't like to watch it like at a premiere, mm -hmm. you know, with all the people you made it with. It's just, I, I, don't, I like to just kind of sneak in and watch it with a real audience. Real people, as opposed to those yeah, people that are there. Fake people. You can kind of blend in with the crowd. Yeah. And not have any. That's the best way to say, see films anyway. Yeah. You know, sitting in empty screening theaters, I find I find that odd because I grew up. You know, I love going to the, yeah. to, the to the cinema. So, 
you got to kind of get back to the way you. I mean, I, I'm like you. I like going yeah. in, paying my ten pounds or whatever. No, it's kind of great, except that people would have this, then yeah. they have nachos now, and yeah. they eat every other kind of thing, yeah. and they're Chewing. on their cell phones, and there's a lot of other reasons. Oh, no, I won't that put up with that. It. Wouldn't you? No, no. Would you become violent I'm, I'm in become the theater? I'd become like my and father. Say, no, no, just lots of shh, shh. I do that too. You. But that <laughs> creates violence. People go, don't shut me up. How dare you? This is like Take your editing. telephone outside. Yeah. <laughs> Really? That's me being my dad. I know, and it was quite quite stern. (laughs) It was just quite stern. How did you two grow up with movies? What was it like? What were you seeing? I grew up, I was kind of, I was seeing my uh, relationship with films. I was very lucky. I had a mum who was totally into foreign cinema and art house, so she was like taking me to this little cinema in the center of town to watch like uh, the 400 Blows and La Dari di Bicicletta and, and, you know, uh, uh, Fellini specials and stuff like that. And my dad who'd take me to see like Rocky II <laughs> and uh, Wild Geese and, you know, so. So it was good. It was like a really good mix. I'd go with dad and just... eat loads of rubbish food and just, and then my mum and, so I feel like I grew up loving both. But I used to bunk school and go watch cinema, go to the cinema like three times a day. I was completely obsessed. That's it, children out there. That's what you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> cut class and just go to the movies. That's what happened. Yeah, you can't do that. Was anymore. this the same with you? Um, my mom used to make us watch old movies all the time. You know, like we watched. Make you? That's she sounds... would make us. Yeah, like we'd watch Rebecca or um, Gone with the Wind or Bringing Up Baby. Um, I like her taste. That's no, good. yeah, they're yeah. great. You know, if I had to be forced to see something. Totally. Yeah. But like I'd be home from school with pneumonia and she'd like go to Blockbuster and rent all these movies and she'd rent like foreign films. Meanwhile, I'm like laying there. I can like barely open my eyes like because I'm sick. And so she has all these like black and white foreign films. But she, she did. She introduced me to a lot of um, great films. Well, we always end this show called Popcorn <laughs> in song. Rooney knows this, although she gave me a really refused. hard time. Did you? Wasn't it refusal? Oh, man. <clears throat> oh you can't. You were in the youth theater of <laughs> music. Uh, I've you? seen you in the talented Mr. Ripley. <laughs> I know about it. We could. You could have. Sung. How many times did you sing "Hey Jude" to him Never. on the set? But I no, would, said, would sing a, it in my there's head. There's a rider. There's a rider. It's I would sing it in my head. It warns everyone. But weren't you named <laughs> after that? I was. Thank God, it's a good song, huh? It's such a. It's great a great song. Can you song. imagine if it was a real stinker? Yeah, it could have been. Hey, <laughs> imagine anything else. being named after like a really bad song. It's one of my favorite. Rooney, can, yeah, I can do song. a little beat thing for you, like. No, I'm not gonna sing. Hey, oh come Jude. on, just that no slightest. Way. I, I think need a you should sing. I'll do it. I could do. Hey Jude. Keep going. Don't make it bad. Come on. Take a sad <laughs> song. <laughs> And make it better. Okay. There, come on, Rooney. Come no, on. You don't want this to is your chance. Sing. We can do that. One what's phrase. The, what's the refrain we can do? We can do la 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 la. There's la. no way we can get you. Rooney, this will get you on anything. stage. No, I want to do no singing. When I do theater, it's going to be straight drama. No singing. You told me you listened. You went to I Rent love and Les musical Miserat theater. I love it. Times and you can't do it. I la. can't. Oh. You'll never sing. I refuse to accept it. Not on and the spot. Not without preparation. And even though they've been kind of impossible to me, I'm still telling <laughs> you, you need to see side effects. This is, this is a good movie for right now. So thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at, I could see it. You wanted to do it. I, I do. I'll do it later when I'm in the shower or in the car. And, and it'll just be... Mm. Next time I come, I'll bring a pre-recording. Yeah, just mine. <laughs>